Welcome to the second and the final part of the mp3 player project. If you haven't seen part 1 already, go ahead and watch it first in which I talked about the electronics and we were halfway building our case for the player. Link is in the description. After drawing up all the faces, I marked the horizontal line from the center of each one of them. I will be using these L-shaped clamps for holding the faces 90 degrees to each other. I held the faces to their respective sides and kept the clamp between them and marked the places for the holes. Then using a 4mm drill bit, I drilled the marked holes. Also using a countersink on the opposite face, I made a very small sink for our M3 nuts and bolts to flush through. I did this for all the holes made on the side that are visible. I took a black carbon fiber vinyl and made the marking for all the 6 faces on it and then I cut it out using a scissor. I left around 0.5 to 1 cm extra space on all the 4 sides so that there is room for some error. Then I slowly applied them to each of the faces, after which I cut the extra vinyl from the edge using an utility knife. I run the knife around the circle and the rectangle to cut out the required hole using them as guides. For the holes that were drilled, I penetrated the knife, bent it to an angle it could, and then rotated the face with my other hand. It got moved very easy. Now it's time for some heat treatment so that the vinyl sticks nicely to the faces. This time I also applied heat to all the area of the vinyl instead of just around the corners. And with this, all of our 6 faces are complete. I took some empty nuts and bolts and attached the clamp to one of the face and then I attached the corresponding face to the clamp. For the front face, I again marked where to drill the hole for clamps and then drilled it. I made holes for the top face as well and created sinks. Then I attached the back face to the case. I made mockings for holding the speakers and drilled the holes I cut the holes from the vinyl of the decoder board using the previously described detective and again made holes for the board on the top face. Now I also wanted Bluetooth support in the player. Hence I bought this cheap Bluetooth MP3 player. I slowly opened its case, connected it to USB port and using a multimeter I confirmed that the 5V supply pins of the module are this and this. I soldered 3 wires to the output of the module which is a 3.5mm jack by the way. I'll be using 1 square mm wires for all the connections. I'll be using Great Scott's LM386 based amp, link to which you can find in the description. I did the first test and fair enough, we have sound. So I went ahead and made this a schematic. Right one is for Bluetooth and left one is the decoder module. I used a single bolt double throw switch for on and off and switching between wired or wireless playback. For charging purpose, let's see what happens if we connect the micro USB board to both the batteries. The one with the higher voltage starts charging the one with the lower voltage which is not what we want as both our batteries have different voltage ratings. So this circuit is not favorable. What we need is a device that shorts both the batteries when charging starts and the relay would be perfectly suitable for this purpose. Coil is directly connected to a micro USB breakout with a free willing diode. Pole is connected to lithium ion charger. NC terminal is left open and NO terminal is connected to the lead acid battery. These are the parts required for this build. You can find details in the description. One thing to notice here is that we will be needing two batteries to remove the noise due to common power line between the LM386 amp and Bluetooth module. On a perf board, I soldered all the components for Bluetooth amp. Then I connected the Bluetooth board, right, left and ground output to their respective places. I soldered wire to the input and output of our MT3608 step up converter and then using hot glue I stick it to the battery. On the center pin of the SPDT switch, also known as pole, I soldered the positive output of the step up converter. I desoldered wires from audio amp leaving the audio wires in place and then I connected the positive of audio amp to one of the throw and negative to negative of step of converter. Then I connected power wires to the bluetooth amp board we made and connected it to the other throw of the switch. Then I connected wires to the lithium ion battery and to another step up converter and fixed it output to 5 volts. I hot glued the bluetooth receiver to the top of the perf board. I passed the speakers through their respective holes and bolted them in place. Then in the back face, I marked the spot for micro USB breakout and created the hole for it. I also made hole for the SPDT switch on the top face. 
I desoldered all the wires from the switch, passed it through its hole and then soldered all the wires back again in the same places. I fixed the breakout board in its place using some hot glue. I also used hot glue in the corners for added strength. I hot glued the battery with the step up converter on one corner. Then I realized the parts for the Bluetooth didn't fit in my enclosure and hence I had to remove it. I made this case only for the decoder board but didn't think through before deciding to add Bluetooth. I was afraid that this would happen from the moment I decided to add this. Anyways, you can always make the enclosure a little larger in width to fit all the things. I hot glued the amp module to one of the face. I removed the top clamps, placed the nut where it is supposed to be while tightening the bolt and applied super glue to it. I did this for both the clamps and then placed it where it was supposed to be. Finally, I put the top face in its place and tightened both the bolts. And it's complete. If you like this project, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as more videos are on their way. Feel free to ask questions and leave comments. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.